What is up guys and welcome to part seven. We are on part seven of this video and this is where I'm going to show you how to set up the testing environment where you can test individually just iOS, sorry, just uh, Iron Source and Unity and any other adapters you integrate, you can test them specifically. So without further ado, let's head on over into the dashboard um, as that is where we need to be. Fantastic. So here we are back in the dashboard. What we're going to want to do is under setup, where it says testing, if we click on testing at the bottom here, you can add in a test device. So click on mediation testing just at the back here. Click on new test device. It's going to ask for the device name. So I'm going to call this one normal. And where it's asking for the advertising ID, the way to get this is if you have your phone still plugged in and you are on your logging system. So I use Android Logcat as you can see just here. If we scroll all the way up to where you've got the adapters being confirmed, at the bottom you've got your GAID. So that is your uh, GI, G, your GAID, GAID uh, number. So this is your individual uh, test ID. Uh, which we would then put in inside your advertising ID just here. Obviously, we would remove uh, do, 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 integration help. Probably the best way to do it is just to put it in like so. Fantastic. Then go back into here and then press on the advertising ID. So this here will mean that your device here is now set up as a test device. And what this allows you to do is where it's got a rewarded video, you can set specific uh, ones to test. So for example, Unity Ads, we can hit test on there. Uh, we can then test on uh, Iron Source, on the interstitial. And again, Unity adds on the banner. Now, these are determined by once that was done, perfect. If we go over to the SDK networks, these are determined by these. So you can see just here on the non bidding, we're not using the iron source non bidding. So if we go back over to our testing, go on to mediation testing, we want to make sure that we're like, for example, here. We want to make sure that we're not on the iron source bidding because we're not using it. Nothing's going to come up. So if we click on iron source just there, click on test. Now it can take a few minutes for, to, for it to actually be reflective on the app. So if I go back into here, so we've got Unity ads on the rewarded video. So if we click on rewarded video now. We just want to get rid of this. Um, so if it's got one already loaded in the um, cache, then it will obviously stay loaded. But now when we reload in another video, it should be Unity, which you can see just there. So uh, we want to accept that. And now we have a Unity ad, which is fantastic, brilliant. So let's go and test the interstitial for uh, the iron source. So we click on load full size ad, show you full size ad, we have the interstitial there. Now if we change this whilst we're here, and just change that one to Unity, uh, Unity ads like so. We'll test that one in just a second. But we've got the banner one because it so it does take a few minutes for it to go through. But we can test the banner one with there for Unity. And again, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that now to iron. The interstitial should now be a unity add which we have there. Fantastic. So under the banner, if we go to iron source bidding, we can now test the iron source banner to check. Uh, we would the so it hasn't updated on my phone yet. So if you you can tell the fact it's not updated because if you were to load the banner and it was not uh, what you've got in here, it just means the fact it hasn't updated yet. It is likely to if you were to press it and there be an error, it is likely a case of when you press load banner nothing would happen as you would see here. So what, so what we would do in order to identify the issue in this, in this case, is we would plug our phone back in, we would load up our uh, Android Logcat, we would reconnect and we would go to the most, most recent one, which is this one just here. Then if we go down, down to the bottom, uh, there we go. So we now have an empty waterfall. So then it'll be a case that we can kind of figure out as to where the waterfall is. So if we go over to uh, mediation, for example, click on the banner because that is where the banner is. And the waterfall seems fine to me. So that is how easy it is to test your actual adapters. I would love for you guys to actually input in as to any errors that you get because this will help grow this entire um, integration guide. I want this to be the best uh, Unity level play integration guide that there is, along with also the most support. So if you guys have had any errors at any point during this entire process, let me know in the comments, let me know in my Discord group, and I will create a video on how to uh, fix it or a video explaining the error so then if the next person comes along and encounters the same error again they are then able to overcome it much quicker and there will be a video there where they're ready for them so thank you very much and thank you for participating in this um structured uh, modular way in which i've created this i'd love your feedback as to whether or not you think it was an improvement on upon other videos that you guys have watched or whether uh, you feel like just one long video all the way through would be more beneficial. Um, if this has helped you at any point during this, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, maybe even give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell and let me know what is happening in the comments and maybe even join my Discord channel. So thank you very much. There will be, there will be more to come uh, in this series, but this is a series I'm going to be coming back to every now and again, uh, creating videos on helping you uh, integrate quite, quite well. So, yeah, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.